Hi all, hope all is well. On today's video, we're going back to November of 2021. It was at this point, I was actually employed uh, to do a seeding operation, so an aerial seeding operation using the P30 drone, as you can see there in that footage. Um, now we're about 18 k's north of Jinjin in Queensland, and for anyone who knows the area, it can be quite spectacular. However, there was quite a bit there that I didn't even realize existed. For example, if you get up in the hills far enough, you can actually find outcrops of granite rock, such as these that you're seeing in the footage here. And while we're up there, obviously operating off these rocks with the drones doing the aerial seeding, I was fortunate enough to come across some rock wallabies. So these are brush-tailed rock wallabies. And for some time, I had troubles identifying them um, purely because there's one set of behaviours that I'll reveal shortly that had me misunderstanding exactly what type of creatures these were. So as you can see, they were extremely interested in me. I was um, extremely careful to approach them, of course, um, and very fortunate to see them because they've easily spooked these animals. If you approach them too quickly, um, they just run away and hide in the rocks. Um, it may not look like it, but I was quite a distance off from trying to film um, with the zoom that I had on hand. So I apologise about the quality of the footage. Um, it's not the best, but um, it gives you a good idea of the type of wildlife that exists up there. And I'm guessing this was an entire family of rock wallabies. Um, it's quite interesting too, because if you watch them, they actually all start looking in one direction. So there was actually something else going on in the area that I wasn't even aware of. Through pure observation, I could see that they were detecting something that obviously I couldn't actually detect. Um, so whether it was me that they were fearing um, or whether they were actually paying attention to another animal in the area that was perhaps giving them warning that there was danger around. However, um, from the way they were behaving directly towards me, I'm guessing they'd probably never seen a human um, or very rarely seen a human. These are extremely hard to get to, these places, um, and I'm guessing that I would be amongst the first people to be up on these rocks, um, and it would be the first time that they'd ever seen a human. Um, so if you see there, you get the four wallabies down the bottom there, and there's one at the top here. Um, you can see him peeking through the gum trees there. Um, and he was extremely active and agile as you see how quickly he moves there. Um, so there's a bit of a close up there. You can see the stripe down his face there and that as well. So what I'm thinking is that perhaps that rock wallaby up the top was the dominant rock wallaby. And the other four rock wallabies down the bottom here, as you can see the one there with the big brushy tail, they were really paying attention to the one up the top. Now, from what it looks like, it looks like the four wallabies lower down were waiting to take guidance, perhaps, from the wallaby at the top. Um, of course, this is only speculation. I wouldn't really have a clue. It's purely through observation um, that I suspect that that's the behaviour that we're seeing there. Um, now, by the time I'd moved across the rocks, of course, the wallabies had scattered, so they disappeared so quickly and they were not easily found after this. Um, you can see the environment that they're in, obviously this grand granite area, massive rocky outcrop, high up above the land as well. And it's a very unique environment. Um, obviously they've been up there for a long time. You can see all the, the dung there, the wallaby dung. And then I come across this one and I did not know that brush tailed wallabies, rock wallabies, um, climb trees. It's the first time I've ever seen um, a wallaby or a roo-like creature up a tree. I'd heard of tree kangaroos for a long time. I knew they existed, but um, from what I understood, they only existed in far north Queensland and Papua New Guinea. And I wasn't aware that any of the creatures we lived here, especially wallabies or kangaroos, climbed trees. So when I seen that, I was absolutely amazed and I'm so happy that I'd managed to capture the footage. 
I felt absolutely privileged to be witness to rock wallabies climbing trees. I'm guessing it has to be one of the more rare experiences you could um, see for yourself in the Australian outback. See them there, they're scattering. Like they obviously knew I was a presence. They knew that I was a potential threat. Um, I was keen to get closer footage. So um, the more I moved closer to them, the quicker they were to vanish. Um, and before I got there, the, the wallabies had disappeared out of the trees. I couldn't get any more footage of them out of the trees. They just vanished. And I decided to have a look down in the overhanging rocks and I could hear them moving around through the, the caves. There was like crevices and caves all through the granite rocks where the rocks had tumbled down on top of each other. And I did see the wallabies themselves moving through these cave structures. Um, so obviously I'd come across like a warren of them where a whole family of brush-tailed rock wallabies lived. Um, and this footage here just shows you a little bit more about their environment. That was the tree that they were climbing up. Um, so it's extremely tropical environment. It's quite high in the air as well. So the altitude's a little bit different up there than the surrounding Jinjin area. Um, from what I can understand is there'd be people who live in Jinjin and Bundaberg even that probably weren't even aware that these rock wallabies exist so close to home. Um, and I was just so fortunate enough to have captured them on camera. Um, you can see these Mycena mushrooms here in all the organic matter. So it's full of wallaby dung and decaying matter. And um, it's just such a pristine environment. And sadly, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found something interesting in this video. Um, I know I enjoyed actually capturing the footage. Um, if you appreciated it, please like and subscribe. I appreciate every new subscriber um, and the likes certainly help feed the algorithm as well. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.